what I'm going through right now, and no one in your family deserves the pain I'm going through, but I believe you were not meant to be in this world. It was an emotional day in Dane County Court today as we heard from the family of a Middleton murder victim. On Monday, 34-year-old Kasu Samba, who was an employee at MSI Auto Sales in Middleton, was shot and killed while on the job. Police say the shooting happened following a dispute over a vehicle that had recently been leased from the company. Today, the judge set a $1 million cash bond for the suspect, 23-year-old Jakira Anderson. She's charged with first-degree intentional homicide by use of a dangerous weapon. News 3 Now's Braden Ross has more from today's emotional hearing. That's right. In court today, we learned a lot more about what exactly happened in that dealership, and we heard from those most impacted by Samba's death. You didn't only kill my husband. You murdered me too. A heartbroken wife speaks in Dane County Court. He was the only one I had, and here I am right now. All I have is my unborn child. Remembering her husband, Kausu Samba, shot dead at 34. The woman accused of shooting and killing him at a Middleton car dealership is charged with first-degree homicide. This defendant, as the complaint shows, is alleged to have uh, shot someone essentially at point-blank range uh, in the chest over what I think even generously to her could be considered a minor customer service dispute at an auto dealership. Court records allege Jakira Anderson went to the dealership Monday afternoon to complain about a car she had leased from them. She told officers she got in an argument with Samba, who worked at the dealership. She says Samba started trying to push her out of the store. That's when police say she shot him. According to court documents, Anderson told police, quote, I wasn't trying to kill him, just scare away, and I didn't think I was going to hit him. The entire incident from start to finish was captured on video. Um, there's going to be no doubt about what happened that trial and that she she didn't in fact pull the trigger of that gun and, and shoot this person. The shooting has left Madison's Gambian and Islamic communities grieving the loss of a man they say was kind, family oriented and brilliant. A family member telling us in a statement he had helped many young people in Madison and his soccer club in Milwaukee commemorating him with this post saying his positive vibes made their team better on and off the field. And in court today, the judge noted more than 30 people had showed up virtually to listen. A preliminary hearing in this case has been set for next Friday. We'll keep you updated on the latest developments online at channel3000.com and right here on News 3 Now.